for being here. I'm Judith Goldman. I'm a, um, a person in the Society of Fellows here and also a poet. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Marjorie to the University of Chicago. I feel lucky to be Marjorie's friend and I'm a huge admirer of her work. This is work that has tremendous intellectual heft, yet is made light by its crystallizing wit and its inexhaustible attendance to and renovation of language and its protocols. I'm actually up here introducing Marjorie as a proxy for John Wilkinson, and though I won't attempt to throw his voice, and questions of ventriloquism and dubbing are concerns in Marjorie's Isle of the Signatories, I will be reading his words. So, to quote John, whether in painting or poetry, work by Marjorie Wellish is recognizable immediately. Her practice is so testing, so meticulous in its scrutiny of its own procedures and decisions. An artist of unsparing intelligence and precision, she is the foremost living American exponent of the constructivist tradition in both media. Severe in her demands of art, not least her own, she nonetheless allows her warmth, wit, and inexhaustible curiosity their play within the diagrams, the thesaurus, and the cross plies of her strong and intricate works. It is heartening that this work has received such extensive recognition, for Marjorie is resolutely independent in mind and by temperament. An influential teacher at the Pratt Institute for Visual Arts and at Columbia University where she teaches poetry, she remains a defiantly untenured New York City intellectual and artist, someone who has gone her own way, beholden only to the artists and writers of her elective pantheon. Art grants and fellowships have been awarded to her by the Adolf and Esther Gottlieb Foundation, the Elizabeth Foundation for the Arts, the Fifth Floor Foundation, International Studio Program, Paula Krasner Foundation, and Trust for Mutual Understanding. A current exhibition at the Denison University Museum, Ohio, before, during, and after, present the, presents the magnificent artist books, um, Oath's Questions, composed in collaboration with James Siena, and published by Granary Books in 2009 together with artworks from which the book derives, particularly the painting High Valley 19 from 1983-84 um, and a series of works on paper and several new diagrammatic paintings, a complete set of unbound page spreads of Oath's questions and a downloadable reading of the text complete the presentation. A small exhibition of the book alone will travel to Braden Lee programs in New York this June. Marjorie has recently taught at the University of Frankfurt and at Edinburgh College of Art as Fulbright Senior Specialist Fellow. This past summer, she was an artist in residence at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago to work towards an exhibit at the Inverley House in Edinburgh in 2011. So she just got back from that. Her writing on art has appeared in Art in America, Art Monthly, Bomb, Partisan Review, Salma Gundy, and Textual Practice, as well as in the anthology The Studio Reader. Her critical writing, both the art criticism collected in Signifying Art, Essays on Art After 1960. Um, you look this book up on <laughs> Amazon, it is very difficult to get, <laughs> it is in demand. And also the literary criticism is incisive and trained on thinking about work she values. A paragraph by Marjorie is worth reams of professionally certified exposition and protect protective citation. As for criticism about her own work, the invaluable volume of the diagram, the work of Marjorie Wellish, edited by Jean-Michel Rabatai, um, consists of papers given at a conference on her writing and art at the University of Pennsylvania. And that's, that's a great book. Um, so, for the, that's for the accolades. But for all of Marjorie's high attainments as a painter, a critic, and a teacher, it is as a poet that we greet her here. Isle of the Signatories is her most recent book of poems. Others are word group and the annotated here and selected poems. This last a finalist for the Lenore Marshall Prize from the Academy of American Poets. All are published by Coffee House Press. Wellish has received poetry grants and fellowships um, from the Didrasi Foundation, the Hart Howard Foundation, the McDowell Colony, and the New York Foundation for the Arts. She was the Judith E. Wilson Visiting Fellow in Poetry at Cambridge University in 2005. That's a great deal of rubric I've delivered, but after all, it tells us little except that her poetry is held in esteem. So without presuming to forestall, buffer, frame, or interpret what you are about to hear, I should like to point out briefly two things among many that make Marjorie Wellish's writing remarkable. To that end, I choose a section from the longest sequence in Isle of the Signatories from Dedicated To. I choose this section simply because of its brevity. That without which no sunlight, 
equips us with possibility, making it so, so habitable. Through granite, inscription becomes the assignment. The assignment's very sanctioned, very frontal, and yet from the side. We say temporary file to be sent, sunlight plummeted, settlement, such as we practice it. With the exception of the phrase sunlight plummeted, there is no language which could be thought poetic here. Oddly, we discover, when words are sent in a file, sunlight plummets. Maybe a lyric moment, maybe it's collapse in the same gesture. For sunlight has nothing to strike off, neither the beveled cuts of an inscription, nor the mica flex of granite, nor any structure to play through or to be detained by. Settlement is what we have to settle for, it seems, as opposed to a possibility so habitable. Perhaps this is because we have no assignment. What is assignment as opposed to settlement? An assignment is a document authorizing the transfer of property. It is also a commission with an end in view, whether or not attainable. It equips us with possibility. I think inscription is required for the word assignment to so powerfully bring forth the root sign. What is settlement? It is the document which concludes a transfer of property. It is a place arrived at the way we practice it. Settlement can be effected immediately by sending a temporary file. That's not much of a settlement. Perhaps it's the kind of settlement reached by a trade during the property boom, a settlement that exists as a prospect to be sold on, nothing habitable at all. There is a paradox here. Granite and inscription present us with an assignment, whereas a temporary file produces a settlement, or only apparently a paradox. We can look at an inscription from all sides, Sunlight glances off it. Sunlight glances off granite, and that makes possible a world of change. But sunlight plummets in the settlement confirmed by a temporary file. That is, it becomes leaden. For a plummet is originally a piece of lead, as with a plumb line or a plumber, one who works with lead. Sunlight drops like a plummet. So across granite inscription, sunlight makes a habitable world of possibility. While through a temporary file, a settlement of sorts is achieved and sunlight turns to lead. To an unmanageable debt in Florida, perhaps, that's plummeting the sunshine for sure. Unpoetic words and ideas here are being revolved. That old usage of revolving has been long awaited, <laughs> has been long awaited the poetry of Marjorie Wellish. She revolves everything. But what does unpoetic mean? The poem insists on working through the language of formal documents. It is resolutely textual, but this textuality resists a simple opposition to voice and to body. It proposes that text can be reformed into lyric embodiment, and poetry need not depend on speech acts. It can be made out of pre-cast linguistic components. To achieve this demands extraordinary poetic skill. For instance, temporary is a horribly difficult word to use in a poem. It's almost unscannable. A reader has to be prepared to hear it. And Marjorie provides in the previous line the parallel phrase, very frontal, and yet, hear that, and you know how to hear temporary, in the next line without deliberating. This is another mark of a Wellish poem. Abstract, polysyllabic words are revolved so that they become definite, hard-edged, structural elements with their own syllabic components precisely etched. Just try to do that. I should mention that the lines of this poem are center justified, as an inscription conventionally should be. I could go on. I haven't even gestured towards the work of this substructure within the larger structure of from dedicated to. Yes, we critics could go on, and no doubt the writing and talking about Marjorie Wellish has just started. But now we want to hear Marjorie Wellish. One. It's an honor to be here. I'll start by reading a few poems from Word Group. Ignore the subject matter of the first poem. I'll tell you what it's really about. <laughs> it's about repetition and difference. <laughs> else in substance, the dress, the other dress, the recurrent dress, the perpetual dress, the basic dress, the reductive dress, the little dress, 
the little black dress, the opaque dress, the remote dress, the opaque dress, the mute dress. Reply that rhetorical dress happens frequently, happens sufficiently in explicit instances in the works of X. The dress, the other dress. The necessary dress, the contingent dress. For the thesis that says realizing the ideal cannot be an object such as these lexicons not self-identical as of forgetful Greece, say again, say again in memoriam, happens always frequently in prophetic dress of explicit instances, Helen merely a limiting case. Missing mass is entailed dress for the repudiating career, the belle lettres dress, the situationist dress, the meaningless dress, the meaninglessness of dress, the dress, the other dress, propositional and repudiating aftermath, a dress, a blank space, designating the loan to a museum elsewhere and the loan plausibly to here. The dress an estimate, a dress explained. The explained dress is contemporary, the interpreted winter dress. The dress, the idea of a dress, interpreting where, interpreting water, else in passum intuitions, either or and one eighth without dress, throughout dress. Clans, moieties, and other. Used and out of print books classified as step. Fish were an important supplement. Only printed words, 42 children's territory there in the archive frequents and inkling or inking Eskimo harpoon seal, Australian aborigine boomerang kangaroo, throughout image music text. After a few uniformities, traps and axes acquire traits of amphitheaters and tribunes. Where is, is the true red, yellow, or blue? Is wearing a stubbornness in which two reds, two yellows, two blues vie for that distinction? Who's afraid of nouns, verbs, and adjectives? Band exogamy, in exchange, hunting, dancing, gambling. Whereabouts of the winter encampment, whereabouts of less strongly tied margins of error, a fish weir similar to ours. Where red, yellow, and blue is a commonplace during and under yellow in some scheme of left and right countertops to be sent up to be as sky to the earth's black and white, ivory black and or lamp black, lamp and mirror shade to keep away composure. Blues will do it, as will jazz blues, Orpheus. The deceased were burned and buried, or bound and buried, the former in the lowlands. Baseball, prehistoric football, and or but not unlike surpluses. One A. Or as if a writ sputtered white noise in a blackout and slammed wiring into a sink to sink a sink in a blackout bitter white text that was once the writ might have been vapor, a script sinking the scratch, sinking throughout, and or throughout hypothetically saying salt through noise hypothetically, even as white noise vaporizes tar scratched not from the wrist, from the ambit 
of an aqueduct, insofar as saying, insofar as inscribed, as if where? Splashed salt, splashed salt across noise from the ambit of saying something thoroughly, although as if the hand might have said it. Memoranda were sputtered, as the, even as the inscription itself appears to be that of a participle ringing wet, is such that this acquaints the script of which edit or intro am as if is that of the crush, the crushed surrogate saying something some with and the rest of it extremely broad pinpointing and insofar as wiring the ambit of memoranda, not from the wrist, from the shoulder, inscription itself, a scratch across an aqueduct, even as white noise, hypothetically because the splash of a scratch sacrificed from a rich of hydraulic mental representations, vaporized, which we wrote say, as saying as if what? The without of as if ringing wet until now. Um, a large uh, section of word group consists of my experiments called textiles, in which I play margins against centers. That's my own private hell in this. Um, I will read a few of these. Textile one, as if and somewhere other than observable water. Insofar as surfeits and the separation may possess its own corrective or domino. What the lyric can comprehend in many valued trespass as soon as trellis in everything. Pallor one, to attain to urban corrective another symposium advocating a long escarpment of references, a convection current, not floral, but what the lyric can comprehend wetting her skirt insofar as assets drying his shirt, lyrically, faithfully, floral, up to and including incomprehension, convection, advocating little posits, immense thickness. Of references, we prefer all threads, seething the self-same traffic. Symposia attained to because, because, Gymnasia attained to a planet, crushed colors to lax. Textile two, as if answerable to anthem and antis, even as, and so far as, as, as illustrated as illustrated milk spilt on printer's ink throughout protest movement, sparkling rhetoric as meaning for the reason that the cause of, the cause a cost a cure of or relating to the Caucasus, as if the envelope of rays insofar as the envelope of rays emanating from a point, even as the envelope of rays emanating from a point and reflected or refracted by curved surfaces and cottage curtains on homeliness. Mm. Textile seven. And as in the mind a gyroscope through and beyond gossip, of what is past or passing or to come, and its corollaries, and its copyright. As in the estate of gates of hell, cooling off original copies. As posthumous descriptions, the body in dark and light descant, white wax met metal and lost. As he left them, as he let them go, ash let bodies be copied cordially. We've met before. We have lived in emphasis to establish the metal of nature for somewhere literary entities have disembarked. Landscapes, they are called, called, because on land, that's not a garden, that's a sanatorium for plants. A sanatorium for flora in attendance has found its women's literature, false positives, 
as a late cultural arrival, as, for example, locale or tanning, even as a reticent reader works through such maneuvers. Two, two or three more of these. Textile 10. A jumper knitted throughout, a sweater's be overcoming mimesis, less. Chapter one has been suspended in a warehouse of textiles for one thousandth of a second, at once a sentence and a sentence in a poetics, lesser. At once a linguistic event and a linguistic event styled after an installation, least. Impossible work finds hypothetical situations, good. Situations impersonating a book, speech acts walking across stage, better. Situations impersonating a boot, speech acts walking across a stag, best. Suspended in a warehouse, a literacy campaign, loudest. Suspended in a disused textile factory, textiles and a second literacy campaign after cultural evisceration, louder. A woman removing her jumper, sweater, in a textile factory, loud, removes a jumper, sweater, then another pulled inside out, says aloud, and now for the retrograde inversion. Textile 13, locomotive. What is a portrait? Locomotive. When is a portrait not a portrait? When it is locomotive, not physiognomic, insofar as pastoring. Tendency of ideas to go over into movement. Movement as such. Movement was used. Walking along a walk as fully as possible. Walking the walk. Stance, pavement, as passage, as passage to pavement. Walking the walk. Republished as tendency of ideas to go over into movement. For these experiments, the subject was given a pencil by the people, men at work, as in the phrase, working women. Uh, I'll read the title, Poem of Isle of the Signatories, starting now. Isle of the Signatories, one. The following lines were omitted. Even in Arcady I exist, e-signature in whose writings lies the body or its facsimile. Et in Arcadia I also, Pierre saw Pierre there also. Two. The following lines were omitted. I too have known Arcady. Name, signature, here lie Ego's avatars also. I, Jacques Riviere, the lie. Fabrication requires a thinker, he said. Whereas, he went on, attempting to think any thought yet, attempting to think henceforth as a text, though extempore, all were reprinted with the lyric effect, his and there is, by adverting to the effect. Three. The following lines were omitted, probably deliberately. I, Marnie Nixon, unpaginated, spacing. And the corrected typescript at table as a text, attempting to think henceforth, to think as the corrected typescript would think through the lyric effect, incited to rhetoric where structure had been, followed by an additional line I, writing, four, followed by an additional line, I also dwell in Arcady, the best signature on the subject, lightly written yet penetrating signature, sprightly, fair-minded and comprehensive signature. None has the intellectual and personal authority of this signature. I also, Pierre saw Pierre beneath the stone the writing said, tempting thought, primarily erne, irrepressible, irrepressibly meant, spontaneity, 
for poetry reads lyrics. His and this and here lies ivy underappreciated. Five. Don't. Do not. In all printings prior to CEP. Unnumber. Do not paginate. Leave Historia where structure had been. I, Jacques Riviere, writing. In an inventory of identity, I too, Ego's avatars also, I, Jacques Riviere, am signing my name relentlessly. Six, here interred is Pierre of the picture plane. If them, it in them, if then, if them, not to mention someone else, non-empty pagination it is set here, seven. It is set here lie these peoples, uncorrected proof, underpaginated. It's them, it in them, not to mention the counterfactual, were it the case that, were it so, follow a different ambidextrous line, that is to say the three broad responses, the three broad responsive, the following lines were omitted, probably deleted, tempting thought, eight. Forget, forgetting to anticipate, he advocated, enables listening to her, less damning to hearing her, followed by an additional line, the lyric effect creases the self-evident reference she sang, followed by an additional line, I too am in Arcady, signed Marnie Nixon, the unpaginated voice, incited to narrative. What is narrative? What is science? Nine, signed Marnie Nixon, the unpaginated voice, incited to narrative, his anticipating the identity of poetry. What is poetry? Ten, even in Arcady, I, death, am here a disputa. And decipherment, she sang, through other texts, a palette of irritability constitutive of a signature, her singular voice print, which is to say, I am here, the competent reader. Eleven, albeit ventriloquism, I, death, even exist here in Arcady. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, two sections from uh, the three of a, let's call it a verbal artifact that will relieve it some pressure on me and the rest of you, um, called Art and Language Rights and Epitaph. And Art and Language, in this case, at least in one of its meanings, is the conceptual art collab, which some of you may, of which some of you may know. Uh, it's a conceptual art group uh, in the widely flung UK. Uh, I, rather admire their work, and I teach it even when not invited to. I sort of sneak it in somehow, because I think their that group is important. Art and Language Rights and Epitaph, section one. Invective in perpetuity. Clear glass square leaning. Let's write all over the place. If then, if not, then what? Counterclockwise placated low pressure. Tinted linen oblong folded. Let's write here. So what? Duo adumbrated subsequently, streaked vegetal white bending. Wall, you are mine, then and only then. Paragraph valorous. General remark number forest. We speak all languages. Suppose that. Here lie the mortal remains of practice. Green wood stacked wet. Rename it. If there are finitely many, unlettered, a new archive, nylon string tacked wet, let us tell you how to exploit us. Exit. 
Sentence here interred, steel wire plate frayed. Let us tell us, let us tell you how to exploit us. Let us do what we want. Devoted phrase. Coffee spill, pages buckle. Just do it. If yes, then. Here lie the mortal remains of practices. Coffee soaking rare monograph. Rename it. Now it is your study copy. The gift. Streak fermenting a mark. Rules governing ordinary vague. Let's attempt to think. What if? Two. Zero for two voices. Indexing initiatives when? Not whenever, no. Modernity, start your engines. The year is 1907. Create acute annals. Modernity, circle of. Modernity, where or when. More noise for some persons, pessimism. As for modernism, zip open. When did modernity begin? With laughter we shall bury you. Thank you, Stefano. Whenever modernity is, there shall be a of a life and a time is Z's ideogram. When was modernity's beginning? A valve, circa 870. When did modernity begin? 19A Africa, the very contretemps. Which modernity? And here's the orchestra to play it for you. When did modernity make its mark? Mark my voids to mark. When was modernity sleepers awake? Modernity ruptured death in sentences, sentenced to death, populist or popular, which? Wall, you are mine. Now arriving on platform zero from the Arabic, when did modern, the modern era begin? Uh, is contemporary art modern? Publix, take notice. When did modernity begin? I don't know. Ground, groundless? Death, Nietzsche. Has modernity begun? In a thought experiment, try cosmopolitan laughter. Um, I will read a couple of the inscriptions for Keith Waldrop, who is a mentor for many of us. Do you know that Burning Deck is 50 years old? Is that something else? <coughs> you know, the Keith and Rosemary Waldrop's press in which there's a separate imprint for translations, which they do or they do with their students from the German and from the French so that contemporary poetry can um, be read by many more people than who would have access to it normally. Keith is retiring after 43 years at Brown. And, uh, but before that, uh, because I wanted to, I, I wrote a very long poem for him, from which I'll read a bit. From Dedicated To for Keith Waldrop, one. This copy distance, Mallarmé. Any carte de visite puts us in mind of his having been there. We shall have left tickets in your pseudonym at the ticket window. An index, carbon copies. The chorus wore shades as they chanted and digested the narrative. He wore, they said, to say to her that he wore her breakaway work. Again the incident, deploying self and self-addressed envelope and closing signed lease commemorative rubbing face down. Five, the complete angler. The infinite angler doesn't, isn't transitive. Insert twilight below. Below nothing, software for twilight. Wait for algorithm below dotted line, speculating on this and anticipating the rejoinder in rainbow. What does a rainbow want? White. Either or of lack, absolute flute, fluted suburbia, throughout extra addendum. 
Zeitgeist, P.S. A universe and afterthought else, Keith Waldrop. Ten, avenged, pardoned. Thirteen, translated and with a commentary, edited, compiled, selected writings of, in collaboration with, edited and with an introduction by, from the notebooks of, a memorandum. Translated and with a commentary, edited, compiled, in collaboration with, possible future selected writings of, edited, and with an introduction by improbable present from the notebooks of a memorandum, whereas in the following re-entry, meaningless and imaginary falsetto compositions only when she was appealed to. Seventeen. Walls entirely quieted, faint green. That column, a social condenser, circa 1920. Vault, iterating categories when categories were. And one more, actually, I think, um, given John's introduction, I might. OK, uh, 26. How to name, how to name a critical introduction. Intellectual property rights, dove is a name, dove is a trademark. But soap is not soapy ice cream shaped into a soap bar named dove, robin's egg blue, an index if and only if a password to correlate swatches of temperament limited to soap only. And waxing poetical, distressing your online ID, or was it far flung? Diderot's The Fatalist, Tegenian's The Fatalist, an utter, unutterable index of proper names and their litigants, pictorial. The, the hat of what's her name's lesbian lover, naming the teacher of his art must be good, why look whom he knew. Entitlement and its rhetoric, mommy. Dalmatian, neighboring. Rhetoric. A Dalmatian's mommy is he who protects her, gives birth to a leash, and or feeds her indeterminacy of reference. Fixity of the eldest of 1A, 1948, Wonment, 1948, blessing the first healthy painting in either case, and propagating art, inaugural hereafter, albeit in differing hints. I'll read a few poems to close um, from the manuscript <coughs> to be published a year from now by Coffee House. I'll read the title poem. Um, the, the book is called In the Futurity Lounge. The poem is called In the Futurity Lounge, In the Futurity Lounge. So you get my meaning right off. Okay. One, no depth meant. Stealth attributed as silhouetted against orange shadows, orange shadows officiated inclined slope ramp and crevice into which habitues sat or sit might have styled themselves typing in the vicinity of an idea whose technologies have extruded a pause. The zone voted, an object works, 
walk-in signage is suffused with the floor plan, planted in the floor through floor, not unlike paper. You are here with the plan, the plan's countryside, coexisting with the plan's latitudes. Describe two moments. And having departed from the typewriter, no chair is to be found. And having departed from the typewriter, the song stylist has timed out. But here's the walk-in signage where architecture had been. Orange, code for each function, entrance, exit, computer station, lavatory, hearth, other, footnote one. Color is intelligible here as signage only insofar as one realizes that color is information. Floor plan, a diagram embedded in the floor at the entrance giving symbolic orientation to postmodernism for which the visitor is keyed to meaning as the guide was not meaning or meta language. Differential in floor plane, slope, incline, ramp, terrace crevice, niche, fluidity of functional structure, noise, human clutter underestimated semiotic rheostat dimming, footnote two, people and their stuff not entirely factored in and was the gift shop anticipated, alterations made to improve convenience and safety but expressed as interference, footnote three. Barrier set temporarily on rim of slightly terraced ramp, for instance. Writing, verbal model presupposed in conceptual art, footnote four. Key terms for functional aids meant to substitute for structural self-evidence in a post-analytic theory of architecture. X cannot come today, but will come tomorrow always, keeping the promise on ramp or ramparts. Grave inscription. Enter. Same grave inscription. On ramp or ramparts. No, I take it back. Size and shape are to be found only there, where all proclamations decry screens below grade, step on stepping stones, winding stairs, together with at least two exits, and ramp conforming to the building code Send subject on a quest for orange wariness, hunted bird with wire, boar with covered pit, rabbit with children's book, same contract on ramp or ramparts. No, I take it back. Size and shape are to be found only there where all proclamations decry screens on which to type themselves. The forces of orange are at work. Hearth and lavatory glow as they rotate at a speed of one revolution per day in velocities, fellow cities, as Velomir is a fast-moving person. So futurity tailgates the past, peels rubber. V disbelieved acceleration as relative and so was pulled down by it, rose-tinted. Nocturnal typescript Nocturnal typewriter extruded, with chair throughout, air underneath, creating a dispute in shadow, encountering you intercepted a chair typed and paper swollen with amphitheaters and gorged shadow in the vicinity of an idea. Steal away. The zone voted. An object works. Walk in signage aflame with proclivities, not unlike an incline deferred or a pause that inherits a stop. View radiator. You are here with the heat, the heart's launch, coexisting with health's per diem. Describe two moments. And having departed from the typewriter, Smith Corona de declares bankruptcy in 1995, the documentary meant other future perfect. Maths, 28,000 BCE, Europeans notch and tally. Early in 1938, the Bureau brothers put out the first ballpoint reminder. Earlier from evidence that, 
earlier the first, the first known knowable fire. View radiator, you, a milieu for which here is a launch, poster, placard, my standard territory, even when they tear up their own posters, tear up their future perfect fire, please post earliest known future perfect. Um, I'll do a, just a couple more. Right. An anthology called Pegasus. Pulse. And we were tired of peace. And in later cross traffic, dusty Pleiades, hitherto a small modish afterthought, not now made of some material. Matriculated futurity throwing off reflections left and right, Los Angeles. The hero arrives home unrecognized. Pulse. That with which a new and selected shelf lets, permits, and treats, sand or an, and saw blade, she has bow to blade to breeze and within a cross generational miscellany to alter the parameters of the object, she, the one and the many, recent and rated, opera doing elected battle with itself while you slow oxen turn the furrowed plain knowing now, not known then, did know, known and not fallow, known then, but fallow since anomalous pulse. Hawk from a handsaw, take two. New and selected melancholia, coerced chocolate from delta, keyboard from key. The festival opened repeatedly. New and selective battles cohered to the keep, the keepsake, little performed and so cut from the opera. The advent of excerpt operated neon from ne ne plus ultra. Pulse, this is the anthology for that genealogy from above and below the self and self-sabotaging disband estates. There are violins, violinist. Problem of the intelligentsia, page 153, following not to recognize self, etc., but data must posit itself. Discredited, discredited and the city's sentence wish images that take on a revolutionary function or utopia, page 193, for which times punctuality wanders off the doctrine that is our narrative to ask nothing, the balconies of. There is beyond animal, Pegasus, in a stall of its own. The last poem I'll read is this, Wanted. Zurich at the Cabaret Voltaire on 5 February 1916 versus Dada emerged through the antics of multilingual bourgeoisie from Eastern Europe who acted on the prerogative as cosmopolites frustrated in their attempt to assimilate into the dominant culture. Dada began and ended at the Cabaret Voltaire on 5 February 1916. It began and was begun by me at the Café Voltaire on 5 February 1916. Dada began whenever and wherever it liked, but Dadaism began for export only versus Dada emerged in fits and starts in dialectical dialect and in trespass of Sambalese property, ever more plastic vocables, careening from root to ferment and fermented love of ridicule, also broke rule to cancel family contract and was exiled, exiled himself then to be his own puer eternus. What not to do next, she conjectured of him, befitted transit. Start erupted versus break up of ice, then way of life, habitually ecstatic, vehement symposium and or riot provoking front page stress 
outflanked by the left. Wasted in the provinces, data remained hearsay until witnessed internationally on 5 February 1916 at the Cabaret Voltaire versus data stirred idiosyncratically, patently never finished emitter of filibuster and backspaces cascading through the loophole provided by the stage grabbed the joke belatedly, some say folklore Breton, did say translating to be loved by another. Dada was officially Christian, Christian, christened on 5 February 1916 versus yes, but. Everyone knows the line traveling through the lie, and this is it, a point. The line is alive, and this lie is a point, the point. The point of it all is fe 5 February 1916 versus the six o'clock news is not the point. It is a pom-pom bluff and a hedge, a pep talk to become knowledge retroactively. Nature knows no form and no concepts versus Nature knows no form and no concepts is itself a concept. In the beginning was Dada versus becoming aberrant may have may reach may have reached a flash point here, here, and here, alternatively might have had here coercively, not to mention here and there in May nineteen fifteen in diaspora. You, you, yo, yo, you, you, yo, yo, or else versus fright wig yourself. Thank you.